Okay, now is part two of my spiritual journey. So, uh, to cut the story short, um, actually, in you know, my family, it's not only me who can uh, have this spiritual uh, journey. My sisters never tell me something about it, but uh, my cousin, uh, the one that, uh, the one who is close, uh, the closest, the closest uh, with me. Uh, she has the same uh, experiences, but the thing is like this. Um, she's a Muslim. Well, I'm a Christian. So we have a different approaches toward this uh, demonic entities. Um, the way she approaching it uh, to, you know, like, like uh, with her uh, scriptures in her Quran, and then from the way I see it, she encountered it uh, like almost like a witchcraft. So I'm not saying that all Muslim will do that, but well, she doing like that. At least she's one of those. So uh, I just this is not my way. I just cannot do it. I don't have the way to do that. I don't have the interest to do that. In my spirit, this is not what I should do. But I have no idea what I should do. So that's why I'm praying. At the same time, I feel scared, but then I'm praying and I'm praying and I'm praying uh, to Jesus Christ, to Yahushua Mashiach, of course. And then uh, what happened? Uh, the Lord taught me how to deal with these buggers. So uh, one day, I was laying on my bed. I was just about to go to sleep. And then uh, in the in between that you about to go to sleep, but you still half awake, suddenly I can feel the the atmosphere changes. You know how it felt? The atmosphere the atmospheres around me is like dead, choking. You cannot breathe. Like it's just like like evilness. You can feel the evilness in the air. You can you, you can't even taste it. With your tongue and then your your goose your body start to have goosebumps all over and then when i felt it i knew it oh, oh no not again leave me alone i feel like i want to scream like that but there she is was i mean so she was standing at the foot of my bed looking at me uh, well, at least I felt like she is looking at me because basically, even though she has the the, the human figure, she just uh, just dark. She's just like 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 smoke, dark smoke. So, uh, and then and then she was like standing there, and I can feel the evilness uh, emanating from her, and then suddenly, as if someone. Uh, jumping into a into a, a swimming pool, she she did that to me. She just jumping, boom. So it is me laying down, and it's her, and then she just jumped like this, like that, and she just like trying to stay inside me, and I can feel her inside me, try to take over my body, and I don't know what she plans to do with my um, with, with my body. God knows what will happen if I'm not listening when suddenly God led me to, uh, to pray uh, the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth. And then I just keep on praying that. And then I can feel she's like, like here struggling and then start to slowly but sure evaporating. Like that. And she gone. And she just gone. And then I'm thanking God with uh, uh, this revelation that he gave me. And then uh, actually he also taught me how to encounter these buggers. Uh, like uh, they attacked me in a dream. And then in this dream, uh, I was in my school, in, a, in my junior high school. And then suddenly there are bad people in the school and then they want to kill me. So basically there's um, like, like a pole full with torn, like, 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 uh, uh, yeah, like spikes, actually spikes, huge spikes, and they want to press me again. This spike, they're already pressing me, and I can feel the spike like like poking all over my body, 
and I start to pray. Again, God led me to pray the Lord's Prayer. So for you guys out there, if you get any demonic attacks, please pray. Pray the Lord's Prayer. It's really work and it helps you a lot. And then um, this is really that, that encounter is really, oh, it's, you can feel it. And it was, uh, I was in a junior high. And then I also, uh, when I was pregnant with my second daughter, I also like, like uh, I have a nightmare. I knew it. I feel like uh, I was so pregnant, so huge pregnant. Like, um, and then I lay, I only, only can lay on my back. And in this dream, I was being attacked with some uh, evil spirits. So what, what happened? Uh, suddenly out of the blue, I just like being pulled to sit down like this, like that, with huge belly. And I saw, right, like I saw like, I saw a human, like in natural world. I saw a woman naked and is also pregnant with long hair. She facing like this, so I only can see from her side. And she's the one who wants to attack me. So I, when I step, uh, sit down like this, I point to that woman, to that, yeah, that woman, and then I pray. I pray the Lord's Prayer, and it's like, Pew! it's gone again. And then after that, I go back to sleep again. So the, yeah, the, um, the attacks continue, but this day is, is, uh, is already a long time stop. Since uh, since I getting um, you know try to dig closer and closer and closer to God, so and then until now I always cover um, me and my family and the whole house with uh, Yahushua's holy blood, and also being surrounded with His hedge of protections. I also ask Yahushua to send me uh, his his uh, his angels to uh, to to. Uh, protect us all and then yesterday uh, yesterday night he this early morning actually he showed me there are two angels uh, one is uh, at the foot of my bed and then the other one at the back of me and then another two angels guarding at the at the front door uh, at the front to, into my bedroom and then they, uh, there are angels also here in this area where uh, where I'm making this video right now, there's one angel standing here, huge angel. I mean, like, I think he's, he's like two meters, two meters high, short hair, very cheerful smile. <laughs> yeah, and then, um, yeah, so, and then uh, the interesting part was like two nights ago, I think, yeah, two nights ago, uh, when I was praying, I always like this day, I only like, like since uh turn to 2018 i just keep on praying in the in the spirit and then uh, two nights ago i saw the the pillar of smoke right in front of me and i sit like plainly like that and then i knew it's is the the sign of the exodus <laughs> yeah you see the, the sign of uh the bread of christ is going to be taken away i mean like we are going to go and like I was, I'm so happy, and then, yeah, um, this is really, really cool. I mean, like if, if you really tap into into God's kingdom, and He will show it to you. He wonder, yeah, a lot of wonders. He will show you a lot of wonders that that of of His presence, His angels. He even tell me who is my. Uh, guardian angels who already assigned for me to to protect me because yeah I'm being attacked by those kind of spirits the of course the bread of Christ being always protected a uh, which husband who loves his wife so much will not send his best warrior to protect his wife da so I'm just so happy I cannot boast because uh, all I receive protection, love, blessings, is all come from Yahushua Mashiach, that's all. If I want to boast, I will boast about him, that he is great, that he is the one true God, the savior. I mean like, no, no worries, don't, don't say it. If you, if you get attacked, like I did, 
just you know like like point your finger to these suckers, to these to these buggers. Said I belong to Yahushua Mashiach, and you cannot do anything to me. Yeah, unless you want to get really really hard time. So, yeah, that's all. I feel happy. I feel safe because I have Yahushua in my life. So that is my spiritual journey, part two. Let's see if I will make part three. <laughs> I hope you not get bored to hear my story because this is just the way it is. You're starting to live in 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 a spirit, and you have that. And I don't choose this. I mean, like, come on, I was a baby when it happened to me. Yeah, I'm mean, like like I don't have I don't even get to choose. But then God God showed me that even so. He already have something for me. He has a plan for me. So anyway, just being obedient, listen to him, and yeah, just stay close with him. Okay, I wish you a nice day then. Bye-bye.